Absentee voting kicks off tomorrow in the runoff election for a spot on the Sioux Falls City Council. Kevin Stancentella talks to each candidate still in the running. After finishing first and second in the April 9th election for an at-large seat on the council, Richard Thomason and Jordan Diefenbaugh each advanced to next week's runoff election. It's really just been a continuation of, of what we started doing uh, several months ago. This campaign is run like the communities that we want to live in. They're in a runoff contest now because neither got a majority of the vote earlier this month. Today, we asked each candidate why they're a better choice than their opponent. I've been out and about engaging with the houseless population, learning about our housing systems, been engaged in community projects. I've been in a similar situation being an elected official before, and so being able to go in and develop relationships, uh, bring policies and procedures into place, I'm just ready to go, and I'm ready to go right now. The 32-year-old Thomason previously represented Minnehaha County in Pierre and currently works for a bank. 35-year-old Diefenbaugh does nonprofit work and has worked to revitalize the Whittier neighborhood. Their runoff contest on April 30th only features their race against each other. Still, each says their strategy hasn't changed. We are who we are, and uh, the messaging is the same. I'm pro-business, I'm pro-parks, I'm pro-roads. I'm the same person that I was when I started running uh, several months ago, and I'll continue to be the same person when I get into office. The general strategy is the same. We're talking on the same ideas, the same issues, and our sort of philosophy of neighborliness above all else isn't going to change. What has helped is we can really focus in on showcasing how our, how our campaign is different than our competitor. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. The runoff election is next Tuesday, April 30th. The absentee voting that starts tomorrow will take place at the Minnehaha County Administration Building.